Let's look at processing mortgage documents through FSOC. First, let's look at the images. Here's a PDF document that's 46 pages long, but there are many documents contained in this single PDF. Let's look at them. Here's an affidavit. There's a loan application notes, multiple pages, home appraisals, lots of different types of documents all contained in one PDF. The problem here that FSOFT is going to solve is separating these documents. Find the appraisal where it starts and ends. Find the different notes and closing disclosures. All the different types of documents need to be separated so that they can be routed to the appropriate people in order to fund this loan. Let's close this document and go into FSOFT. This is FSOFT. It's browser-based, so there's no need to install anything. There's administrative functions and operator functions. As an operator, I'm responsible for validating that these batches are classified correctly. I'll click on View My Batches, and here I'm directed to a batch list or a queue of batches that have been submitted to the system. Here's a batch of that PDF document that we looked at earlier. I'll open it. As you can see, FSOFT has separated the documents on the left-hand side. It gives me a thumbnail preview of all the different pages contained in that document in the center here, and then the image on the right-hand side. If I scroll up, I can see all the different documents it's split. The note here is actually has a red bar to the left of it which means it was below the system's confidence value for this particular document. In this case, if this wasn't a note, the user could use a drop-down list or a quick search to find the appropriate document type. In this case, note is fine. So we do want to accept this classification. And the user can click this review button now the batch is completely validated. Clicking OK will actually close out the batch. And now there's one less batch in the review screen. We'll jump over to the validation screen, which is the next step in our process. Now we'll look at that same batch of documents in validation. So the screen is very similar to what we saw before in the document review screen. But now we have these index information here in the center. So the system has brought me to the loan approval where it says it couldn't find the, the base loan amount. We can see that there's some noise here on this actual keyword. So the automatic extraction rule wasn't able to find it. The user can quickly index this value by just single clicking on the loan amount of $175,000. The value is instantly mapped to the field and this document is validated. I'll click the validate button and the batch is completed. I'll click cancel just to show some other fields that have been extracted. The loan application has a few fields here, borrow name and borrower's social security number. These have been extracted out automatically and at high confidence, so we don't stop the user in this validation. Again, anything that's green flows through the system automatically. So I'll just validate and close this batch out, and our process is complete. You can see my batch list has gone down by one batch and I would repeat this process until all the batches were completed and my work was done.
the automation tools that FSOF provides can really streamline a process like we saw today in the mortgage lending arena.